Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a Sweet Stuff Saturday. I'm just going to run through my knife collection. So this is my knife collection circa 2023, so June of 2023. Um, this is what I call my permanent knife collection. I have stuff that's in for review samples. I have stuff that I have that are review samples that I have not sold yet. Uh, and some of those pass in and out. This is this is not like a fixed set of knives, but it's pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna go through them real quick and I'll tell you which ones have been in here the longest. Uh, so up in the top row, we have the uh, Chris Reeve Nundi. This is a Gen 1 Nundi. They're on Gen 3. This one has the old style nail neck and it has um, uh, box elder burl handle scales. This thing has been in the collection for quite a long time. Uh, the next knife is my favorite slip joint, uh, and that is the Indian River Jack from Northwood Knives. This is the 2020 edition with the uh, Burgundy Micarta handles. That has been in since 2020. Uh, the next knife is my Verstig Imp. This knife is one of the oldest knives in my collection. It has been in forever, and I use it all the time. I carry it all the time. It's covered in grime because I use it. But the edge is still super duper sharp. This is 01 tool steel or 01 steel, and it was made by Kyle Verstig. I believe the heat treat was done by TM Hunt. It's a great little uh, pocket fixed blade, probably the my favorite pocket fixed blade ever. It is just super compact and it cuts like a demon. Great little knife. Um, it's the only real uh, everyday carry fixed blade. So. Uh, that has been in the collection for quite a long time. This is the uh, um, the Urban EDC Supply Baby Barlow. It was designed by Justin Lundquist. This is the Gen 2 one. Uh, this is a knife that was released, I believe, in 2021, 2022. It has been in the collection since it was released. This version is the JG10 with the black insert and the uh, stonewash blade. Really excellent little pocket knife if you want to just have like the smallest possible carry. Um, the next knife is the uh, Canal Street Cutlery Boys Knife from A.G. Russell. This is in the translucent gold G10. This is, uh, I said this was my favorite slip joint. This is probably my favorite slip joint. This is a really superb knife. It's uh, quite well made. It's uh, produced in 440 C steel. As you can see, it has a very, very pronounced clip. And it has a negative blade angle, meaning this thing just cuts like crazy. The boy's knife is a variant on a Barlow. It's basically a smaller Barlow. And so this is a, a really, really great, nice knife, useful pattern, beautiful handle scales. Uh, they don't make this anymore. This has been in my collection for over 10 years. It will never go anywhere. This is a great, great knife. They are unfortunately incredibly hard to find. Boker did one that was kind of close, but not exactly. Uh, fit and finish on this thing is absolutely, I mean, just crazy, superb. Like, cannot feel anything as my fingernail passes over these screws. Like, it's as if they didn't exist. The bolster is a little, you can hear it a little bit, but like on this on this front one, you can't hear it at all. It's actually, uh, it, it's it's just a superb, superb knife. Really, really great, gorgeous blade. I love that blade shape. It just looks classy. Um, the next knife, and I'm going to start moving these out so you can see them. The next knife is the Holy Nerd from TRM. This is a brand new knife. I got this relatively recently. Got it in October of 2022. Um, my friend Nick and I went and did a tour of TRM, and this was the knife they had for us, which was super nice. Great, great, great knife. Absolutely love, 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 love this knife. The titanium handles are really well done. The blade, of course, is thin and slicey. It's uh, sporting the 20 CV blade steel. Really, really great knife. If you like compact knives and you can't find a dragonfly that you like, this is the knife you should be looking at. This is a great little knife. Next up is the dragonfly. This is a dragonfly in ZDP 189. As you can see, I swapped out the handle scales. A reader made these scales for me. This knife is absolutely awesome. I carry this quite a bit. Um, and it is mega sharp, so got to be super careful there. Um, the next knife on the list is a knife a reader sent to me. This is like one of those things I've been trying to find for a long time. It came in uh, just before Christmas of 2022. 
This is the uh, Spyderco Air. This is basically what happens if Spyderco makes an Almar. It is a knife without a lock, or a knife without a clip. It runs the, carb uh, the Silver Twill uh, handles. Um, it sports an M4 blade, uh, and it is super mega light. I think this thing is lighter than an ounce. If it's not, it's just at an ounce. Really, really great knife. Um, I finally got the Space Bucks account and the uh, availability to line up. This is the uh, Vera Knives Mini Impulse. This is actually the knife I'm carrying today. This is a really cool little uh, vulgar. It's got all kinds of great, nice features. Um, it's running uh, M390 blade steel, and it has all of the cool design touches. Vero, including this front flipper that doesn't change the silhouette, this back tab that lets you flick stuff out. Really great lock bar, really great clip with this nice de uh, ramp down at the bottom. The next knife is the uh, Micro Typhoon. This is a relatively rare knife. I think he released it twice, maybe once or twice. But this is a uh, knife by um, Sharp by Designs, Brian Nadeau. It is produced by Rayop. This is one of the finest knives I have in my collection. It is incredibly well made and it has the best detent on the planet. I like me some snappy detents and this thing is about as crispy as you can get. Really, really great knife. Excellent design. That's probably not going anywhere. That's also been in the collection for quite a long time. I want to say like five years. Next up is a Sebenza 31 in S45VN. I got this right before the price increase. So I got this in fall of 2022. Um, a really great knife, and I think that if you're going to have a serious knife collection, you need to have a Sebenza. That is a great, great knife. <clears throat> My current favorite knife on the market is this knife. This is the uh, uh, TRM Neutron 2. Uh, it is super duper slim. It is easy to carry. The clip is great. The handles are contoured. Uh, you can put uh, an O-ring. I have a spare O-ring up here um, in case this one pops off or breaks but it just gives you a little extra traction so you can snap it. You don't need it at all. The thumb stud is perfectly fine. I just like it a little bit better. So really great knife, interesting design choice to put something like that in there. Um, the next knife in the collection is a also very hard to find knife. These are probably my two hardest to find knives. This is a Triple Lot Design Compact Dauntless, which is a uh, mid-tech uh, collaboration between Hinderer Knives and uh, Triple Lot Design. This thing is just awesome. In my mind, it's sort of like the pinnacle of the evolution of the tactical uh, everyday carry knife. Really great fit and finish. This is the only generation to include the triway pivot. It sports a 20 CV blade and uh, it was like $500 when it was new. Uh, they regularly sell for $900 or $1,000 on eBay. They are extremely hard to find. This is a great, great knife. Really love this knife. Next up is the knife I keep in my nightstand. It's a knife I've had a lot of work done on. It is the uh, Mini A100 from Emerson. This is a Gen 2 one, as you can see, because it doesn't have the fiber back spacer. I have had the handle scales replaced. I have replaced the pocket clip, and I have had the knife ground into a traditional V-grind. The M100A, uh, the Mini 100A, is just so, so good. It is a great design. Um, the blade steel is 154cm, uh, as they always are on Emerson's, but this is just a beautiful knife. And unlike a lot of knives, this one does really actually break in, so it's getting to the point where it's wonderful. Last knife, or second to last knife, is this knife. This is the uh, ZDP 189 um, uh, Spartaco Cali 3 carbon fiber scales. I owned one. I sold it like a dummy. And then I had a hard time finding another one. Finally glad I got this one back. It's a really, really good knife. Even today, I carry this quite frequently. Finally is the most recent knife to be added to the permanent collection. And it is the PM2 Ultra. This is a modification done by Blades We Love, where it takes a left-handed PM2 and converts it to a button lock, a button compression lock. The overall design uh, eliminates this little cutout for the lock bar, which makes the knife much more comfortable in hand. This is a really, really good design. The S45VN blade steel was a surprise. I had not realized that they had upgraded the lefties to S45VN, but they have. So if you're looking for a do everything uh, large knife, or if you have a knife, of, uh, knife collection consisting of small knives and you want one big knife, you're gonna have to be hard pressed to find a better knife than this. 
Uh, PM2 is a great design, but the lock bar gets a little pinchy. This fixes that and it adds a bunch of nice little touches like the uh, lynch clip. This is a great knife. So there you go. Quick overview of all the knives in my quote unquote permanent collection. Thanks.